Hello Year 2, I'm going to talk you through your new maths investigation for this week. This time it's called The Mystery of the Squashed Fruit. Let's begin. The children at Sunnyside Academy are preparing a healthy eating feast for Healthy Eating Week. The table looks fantastic. There are healthy sweet treats, perfectly balanced meals, vegetarian and vegan options and much more. Isla has prepared an exotic fruit salad. Samir has made some fruit kebabs and Oliver has prepared some whole grain wraps and sandwiches. Everything was almost ready when suddenly Daniel notices something unusual about Samir's fruit kebabs. All the bright and colourful fruit pieces are now just one big pile of mush. The fruit has been squashed. Who could have done such a thing? Can you solve the clues to find the culprit? Again, on the second page this week is a grid with all the possible culprits. After you've solved each clue, you can cross them out until you are left with just one person. So, the first clue. You need to solve the word problems, but be careful. Some of them are subtraction, some are multiplication, some are division, and some are addition. Once you have the answers, cross them off from the grid at the bottom of the page. The box that is left will tell you how old the person is. For the second clue, you have to solve the number sentences. Once you have the answers, you need to look at the tally chart and colour in the tallies that match your answers. The tally that is not coloured in will reveal the culprit's favourite fruit. For your third clue, you need to work your way through the maze by colouring in multiples of two, five or ten. When you reach the bottom, it will tell you whether the fruit squasher is a girl or a boy. For the fourth clue, you need to work out the answers to each calculation and then colour the answers in using the key below. Then unscramble the sentence and it will reveal which class they are in. For your final clue, you have to solve the fraction questions to spell out the colour of the fruit squasher's hair. I hope that you manage to find out who it is and that you can help the children at Sunnyside Academy. Good luck.